So, we've got these two motors, both similar, but unfortunately this one has aluminium wiring, which does definitely make it more of a pain in the arse. I don't know what I'm going to do about that yet, but I'm still cracking on with there's some ideas about what I'm going to do for the overall project. So I've managed to find these uh, bearings. I'll put the supplier there that fit these bearings here that fit on a 22 mil and the shaft. They were the only bearings I could find that are exactly 50 millimeters across. Exactly. Because I've measured this and that's exactly 50 millimeters across. So I'm going to, what I've got to do, because it's so tight, I've got to sand a little bit off and then I'm going to put this bearing on and I'll show you what it looks like. In a bit So we've got this 22 mil shaft and these bearings, and all I have to do, theoretically. Right, that isn't perfectly straight on, you can see a tiny bit of wobble, but it is going to be easy to get it uh, fixed in there. I just want to be 100% sure that's what I'm going to do. But if I give it a good whoomph, I just want to show you how long it goes for, and then I'm going to actually have a go at securing the bearing in there because I think. Looking at it like this is the thing I want it to uh, do because this has to move. You could easily stick blades on there and, you know, that was just one turn of a hand when it's not even on correctly. Just wait till it stops. So yeah, I definitely think that could be the bearing issue sorted. There's still problems to overcome. But yeah, I just want to show you that. So. Hopefully, I'm going to show you how to fit this bearing into this LG washing machine hub, which I believe is very similar to the F&P washing machine hubs. Okay, the bearing I have purchased is called a, let's see it here, Medway shielded ball bearing 22mm by 50mm times 14mm. I got them from uh, these boys. Bear with me, there you go, bearingboys.co.uk So yeah, I found a, a method, I believe, which is virtually bulletproof. This one I've just done. Uh, at the moment it's only tacked on, but it's, it's still very strong and it's. I'm still going to be able to show you what I want to show you. First thing to do is you need a mega flat surface here. So put that on, I've given it a bit of a sand, the inside of the bearing and the plate. Beautiful. Now, Ooh. Now we need some threaded bar and some washers. And Spanaroonie. Right, it's important to note this can still move, so we need to take care of that. I'm just going to use a weight. Firstly, we can actually check with a spirit with a uh, level like that that it's flat and it's not bent. And I uh, did that, it looks good. So let me just get the welding shears ready. 
Right, I've got my compressor ready here, so I'm just going to hit the tack and then cool it straight down. Just the first one. Just going to uh, clean the side up a little bit for the earth. Compressor ready. Right, that's Kushti, just gonna let that compressor recharge. Right, let's do the others. So one here, get the compressor at the ready. Sound of the side for the earth. And let's do this. Keep dropping stuff. do is put on four better tacks as well but I don't want to pimp the uh, risk warping the lovely rotor disc so let's have a look I've also got this uh, 22 mil uh, stuff so I'm going to put that in the vase So now, hopefully, this will go on air. Right, so I'm going to give it a spin. We'll see what we've got. Ready? Now, it's not on far enough. <coughs> oh, that's better. Okay. There it is. 
this one's got a very small bit of wobble but nothing this isn't moving you see this isn't going up and down there's a very tiny little bit of uh, left and right but I'll just, I'll just let it finish spinning so you can see how long it spins for Intermission. Get yourself some popcorn. Yeah, I will. Thank you. So yeah, sorry, in the interest of uh, making the film, I will show you how long it spins for, and then I'll put the other one on there. Just to be a complete biast. Where is the other magnetic motor device? So, you see what I'm talking about? And then I feel the need to show you something else will take a couple of minutes you're thinking how would this work if you wanted a uh, vertical setup so yeah I'll give it a good tug are ready So again it has got a tiny bit of wobble but this the inside the important bit I'll show you on the other side this is staying pretty static so that's good sorry about my dirty hands I've been digging potatoes out of the garden <coughs> anyway so yeah this would be of interest in a vertical wind turbine system again in the interest of the video I'll show you exactly how long it was spin for of its own accord and then I, I was wondering if you had to, the two rotors back to back would they create more torque each one because they're heavier because they're joined together interesting stuff but this is a 22 mil shaft and the bearings are 50 mil exactly virtually the only bearings on this side with thousands of bearings that I could find that just fitted so perfectly it's so snug right so I'm going to put this one on Ooh. and that looks good don't it that looks seriously epic so I'm going to give this a spin and we'll see how long it goes for ready three two one beer So that's on 7.32. This is a breakthrough my friends. I know this is a breakthrough. Breakthrough of sorts, but a breakthrough nonetheless. I'm sure you, you can appreciate in some way that I'm letting it stay having fun till it stops which it will which it will my brothers and sisters a yee Okie dokie, so that's good. They will be, they're very tight, so they will be a bit snug to get off. But no problemo. 